Hi everybody, I'm Michael. In today's quick tips, we're gonna show you how you can flush an orchid that's grown in LECA. So, you ready to dig in? Let's grow. Before we do the flush, let me talk about what LECA is for those of you who don't know. LECA stands for Light Expanded Clay Aggregate. And I have some over here. I'm gonna put some out here on the table for you. Oh, sorry guys, just dropped them. That is LECA. It's a light expanded clay aggregate, and this forms a soilless grow medium. And orchids, we have found when we did our plant rescue, these guys were all done with, through a, a plant rescue about a year and a half ago on our channel, and they've all taken very well. We didn't know how well it was gonna turn out, but we're so happy. And this cutie pie here is on her second set of blooms. So has this one. This one's just finished her second set of blooms. So we're gonna do it, we're, um, let me go back to Lekka before I go on another side sidebar there. LECA stands for Light Expanded Clay Aggregate, and these pebbles um, help bring moisture up into a container. It's, a, it's like the soil for your orchids, and your orchids will grow in this. Let me see. Let me, that one's kind of stuck. There. Your orchids will grow in this medium here. We'll do, we'll do a side-by-side -side so you can see it up close. There's a, a neck container here and a outer cash pot container that holds a, a nutrient solution. So your LECA goes in this little neck container and it's got all these little openings and pores and the LECA just fills in there. All of these pebbles just fill in there. And you put the, the, the orchid in there and their roots grow through this medium. And it's, it's our plants have done very well. You, you don't have to grow your orchids that way, uh, but we, we found that ours have done very well. One, one thing I do want to point out is that one, uh, some people have done this on their channel where they, they wanted to get some more, some more moisture through their lecha just to try to increase that for their plants. And they put, uh, sometimes they put nylon rope to bring more moisture up. What we have done is we've just used some sphagnum moss and we put it on the side, on the inside of our neck container to try to wick up water a little bit more to touch some of the, some of the lecha pebbles uh, further up into the container. Lecha medium does not grow fully submerged. You basically fill the bottom third of this and we have done videos, many videos on on growing plants in semi-hydro, so you can check out that. And the, the, the this this nutrient solution touches the leca down at the base. The roots of the plant are higher up outside of the water. If the plant decides to grow in the water, that's totally fine. This this dendrobium has done that, and she's gone bananas. She's got her roots. She's going down there, right in the leca. If a plant grows in it, that's fine. It's doing. It's adapting to that. But typically, you want to have your your root sitting in the leca above the water table. So this bottom third of your container typically is filled with a nutrient solution, which is fertilizer and water and some pH balancers for those that like to have a more acidic balance for, for your orchids. So now that we talked about LECA, there's ways you can grow them. You've seen some people probably just do it in a glass jar, will decorative glass jar, and they just fill it with LECA um, uh, and fill water in the bottom third or bottom half. It's sometimes they have them very large flutes and then they have their orchids up there, it's very pretty. But that, that to us, we, we shy away from that because algae can build up in there when you have a light that can come in there. So we like to do ours in, in this fashion, but you can grow orchids that way, it's not a problem. Um, so now that we talked about LECA and, and the basics of how a semi-hydroponic works, I mean, I've done a short, quick course, this is a quick tip, so doing a little fast-paced one here. Um, I do wanna show you one other plant that we have had tremendous success growing in LECA, and that is our tricolor Hoyas. Look at them. Oh, look at them. She's a beauty. She's got, y'all look, she's got an all white, all white leaf. Now, I, of course, I've zhuzhed her up. I've added some, some marbles here, but this is all grown in LECA, and she loves it, loves it. We have. This was, we actually did another rescue. We had a, a Hoya, tricolor Hoya growing outside. And she, look at that. Look at all those roots. She's bananas. They love Lekka. Now we've had some friends and some, some folks have commented on our channel that they're having tr trouble with their Hoyas growing in Lekka. And we feel, we feel for them because we've had the opposite. We've had tremendous success. There's one growing in the back corner here, off probably my left, your right. Uh, a Hoya that's just shooting out, shooting out uh, new growth everywhere. And, and that one's grown in Lekka. We have so many of these babies that we cut from a mama plant outside that was covered in mealybugs. And as you know, Hoyas do tend to get mealybugs, but 
they had love. We feel love growing in Lekka. Now that sidebar aside, that, that plant sidebar aside, let's go back and talk about how, why you came here to do a flush. So let me show you how that's done. We're gonna rotate over to the sink and we're gonna show you it's real simple. And then we'll come back and do a quick closing at the end. So let's go on to that step. Here we are at our sink. One thing I wanna mention is that this orchid here, this Phalaenopsis that's flowering, this beauty, I'm not going to flush her right now. We wanna wait for her blooms to fall off before we go through that. Flushing doesn't necessarily shock your plant, uh, but it can it can maybe hasten the blooms to fall off. So we're just gonna keep changing or checking her water and filling her up. And when her blooms fall off like this one, this little girl here, We'll go ahead and flush her now. So once her, her blooms have fallen off and to flush, it's really easy. I've brought in some hydrogen peroxide. We'll come back to that in a minute, but we're gonna be using some of this too. So to flush, all you need to do is get your water set. We've already turned ours on a little bit. We've turned it on spray. We've got it to almost room temperature. And all you need to do to flush your orchid is just pull it out of its net container and rinse it's like that it's that easy and you want to do this for about a minute and what it's going to do it's going to help move out some of the salts that you get from from the fertilizer uh, the liquid fertilizer and if i show you here while she's doing that flush there you can see in here there's a lot of debris and stuff that's going to happen uh we also added like i mentioned some some um sphagnum moss and that that can add for a little bit of, little bit of uh, debris buildup. But your, your cash flow, this container, will hold water over time. But this is this, when I mentioned in the intro, this is where you want to fill to about a third. That's where your nutrient solution is going to go. This neck container down there will go in there and sit in there, and that water will start to, to migrate up through the LECA. So I'll clean this container out here, but I just want to rinse the, the orchid a little bit more. that down just a little bit. There we go. And that's all you need to do. I'm bringing this in close. That there is salt buildup. That's from the fertilizer. And so what this flush does is it helps move, move that stuff out of the container. Now you can also change out this and uh, if you, um, if you need to, especially if you're doing an orchid rescue, you can change out the whole neck container uh, to check on the roots. And that's where that's where we've done some videos on that. And that's where this hydrogen peroxide comes in. But we also use hydrogen peroxide here on our LECA. Let me just finish this. Uh, right at the very end. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna clean. In our neck container. I mean, our cash flow container. This is called a cash flow container. This I haven't used before, so it doesn't have any soap or anything on it. So, here we go. Easy, easy peasy. Now, before we go and add the, new, the water back into the reservoir, what I like to do is after we flush our, our uh, orchid, Side. Get water off. Some water. Is that we'd like to put some hydrogen peroxide? Just pour some through, like a flush, because hydrogen peroxide helps helps keep pathogens at bay. It won't harm the roots, and it's kind of like a little secondary flush to help to help keep the growing medium be its best. And we like to do that after, with our flushes. And that's basically all you need to do. We, uh, we have over here, which you didn't see in the intro, a silver dollar vine. Look at her, and she's got some new growth, you all. Look at that. Look at her, look at her base hair. She's just crazy growing in Lekka. We have her growing in this one over here, in this cash bow. And we're gonna do a flush after this video. I was just setting her out there because she needs her. And you can see a lot of the the salt build up there on hers down in there. If you look carefully, you see all that white. So we're gonna flush her and uh, get her back up on the shelf so she can do her thing. And there we have it. That's how you do a flush. 
We hope this information was helpful to you, but if you have any thoughts or questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Until the next video, bye. If you found value in this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We post weekly. Thanks.